Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast, Monday Morning Moments with John O'Leary, Halloween edition. I record these so that you and I can begin our days and our weeks in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. Speaking of Halloween, remember those masks we used to wear on Halloween? Now, I'm not referring to the modern masks that my children grew up wearing. I'm referring to the old school far cheaper, far more dangerous ones. The ones that scratched our faces with dangerously jagged edges, had eye cutouts that never actually matched up with our eyes, and had a rubber band so cheaply fastened to the mask that after just a couple houses, the band would break and we'd spend the rest of the night holding on to a bag of candy in one hand and then our mask with the other. Yeah, remember those masks? Well, th- this time of year... Masks are mainstream for adults and children alike. Halloween gives us an excuse to lean into childlike playfulness, to get dressed up for a night, and to be someone radically different than we typically are. I love Halloween, and I love getting dressed up for it. But for many of us, masking our true selves is not reserved for once a year. For many, it's Halloween all the time. We were masked in seeking approval from others. We may mold our words, our opinions, and even our appearances to whatever room we're in. And in trying to fit in, we may go along with things we disagree with and pretend to be who we're not. In hoping to be someone more worthy of being accepted, we cake on makeup less to amplify our natural beauty and more to hide perceived imperfections. In pursuing success. Frequently we stay so busy and we run so fast so we can avoid letting others see our shortcomings, our weaknesses, our scars. We strive not to become the best version of ourselves, but to become worthy in the eyes and in the opinions of others. And yet in the end, we still feel too fat or skinny, too old or young, too accomplished or marginalized, too unconnected, we're broken. Someone else always has a better house, a better family, a better job, a better physique, a better life. I spent decades wearing various masks, trying to measure up, trying to fit in. Always joking, always partying, always busy, and always finding myself feigning confidence, quietly struggling, and often longing for something more in my life. I don't think I'm alone in this. And in that time, I found that joking often masked the pain. Anger masked the fear. Addiction masked the longing. Arrogance masked the insecurities. And busyness just masked the meaninglessness. Removing the mask of inauthenticity, however, liberates all of us to fully embrace who we are, whose we are, why we are here, and what matters most. So rather than losing the comparison game by attempting to measure up to somebody else, Consider a far better comparison. Compare yourself each day with who you are, who you once were, and ultimately, who you could become next. Tonight, we've got a wonderful excuse to get dressed up, act like a kid, give out candy, sit around fire pits, visit with friends, have a couple beers, and toast life. Tonight, the streets will be packed with kids wearing costumes, gleefully filling buckets with candy and racing through the neighborhoods. But as the last visitor departs, as the fire pit is extinguished, and as the candy is sorted, let's agree to put away the mask along with the rest of the costumes until next year. And then starting tomorrow, let's drive each day to become the best, most authentic version of ourselves. My friends, I want to thank you for being part of our Live Inspire community. I want to wish you a happy Halloween, and I want to remind you, that today's your day. What a gift. Live inspired.